Hi, and welcome to the next tutorial. In today's lesson, we'll learn how to recreate this cool looking realistic earth scene using Adobe After Effects. So anyways, guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we have to do here is we have to create a new composition. 1920 by 1080 pixels will be fine at a duration of about 10 seconds. I'm using 30 FPS also, just press OK. Once we've done that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to import our assets. So if you can go to the link in the description, you will need to download the day map and you will also need to download the earth clouds. So once we've got that, then what we need to do is we need to drag the day map down to the timeline over here. And so once we've got that, the next thing that we need to do is we need to search for an effect which is called CC Sphere. So now that I've put my CC Sphere inside of my After Effects project, you can see what is actually happening now. You can see that the day map has now wrapped around and we've created the earth and that's looking pretty good. But now we're gonna make it look even better. First thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the radius. So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. The next thing that we're gonna do is we are going to open up the light settings. We're gonna to go to the light, uh, the light height. We're gonna change that to 30. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the shading settings. We're gonna change the ambient to 75. We're gonna change the diffuse to 75. And we are also going to change the roughness to 0 0.200. And then we are also going to change the specular. And we're gonna bump that up to let's say about 50. So the specular adds a little bit more light in there. And that's looking pretty good. Now we need to animate it. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go and open up the rotation. We're gonna make sure that we're on our uh, first keyframe. I'm gonna hit the stopwatch for the Y rotation and then I'm gonna move to the end of the timeline and then I'm just going to make it do one complete revolution. So if you've done that correctly, now you'll see the world spinning and that's looking pretty good. So now once we've got that, we just wanna add a little bit of glow to this world. So we can do that a few ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is if we go and we right click down here, we go to layer styles and we go and add an outer glow this way. So now if I go to my outer glow settings, I need to change a few things. The first thing I wanna change is the opacity. I wanna drop that down to about 50 and you can see the glow on the outside. The next thing that we need to do is we need to change the color. Now for the colors, I'm gonna use Color Hunt. So I'm just using Color Hunt for my colors and I've got this bluish color scheme. So I'm gonna go for the lighter color for the outer glow and this, the darker color for my inner glow. So I'm just gonna copy that and bring it back into After Effects. So I'm just gonna paste that in there and I'm just gonna bump up the size to let's say 100. So now you can see that nice glow around the world. The next thing that we need to do is we need to repeat the process again. So we're going to right click, go to layer styles and we're going to put an inner glow. So with the inner glow, all we need to do is firstly, so with the inner glow, all we need to do is we need to change the color. So I'm just going back to color hunt and I'm getting this darker blue. So I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to paste it inside of my color section for After Effects. The other thing that I need to do is I just need to change the size. So I'm gonna bring that up to about 80. And so therefore you can see the inner and outer glow working at the same time. And that's looking pretty good. So now if I rotate that, it's looking not bad. So now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add another asset to this composition. So I'm gonna add the clouds. So I'm just gonna drag it down and I'm gonna make sure it's on top of all of the layers. So make sure that it's on top of the day map. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to my day map, go to my effect controls and I'm gonna copy the CC sphere effect and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on the first keyframe and I'm just gonna paste it to the clouds one and so if you've done that correctly now you will see all the animations and everything copying over now obviously that's no good and we need to change that a little bit we need to change the mode to add and now that's looking pretty nice 
and we just need to press T on our keyboard for opacity and just bring it down to maybe like 60%, 50%, something like that. But I'm pretty happy with that and I think that that's looking pretty good. So now I can move on to the background. So for the background, the first thing that we need to do is we need to create a new solid. So I'm going to right click new solid and I'm just going to call it BG. And then I'm going to place it underneath my earth maps. And then what I need to do is I need to search for an effect called gradient ramp. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick two dark colors for this gradient ramp to work. So I'm going to start with a pretty dark black and then I'm going to just bring it up slightly. So once you've got that, the next thing that you need to do is you need to create a new solid. And this solid we are going to be calling stars. So for this one, you need to make sure that you are selecting a white color. And what I need to do then is I need to search for an effect called CC Starburst. And now we've got some stars on our composition, which is looking cool, but we need to fix it up. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm just going to bring the scatter down to about 75. So I'm going to bring the speed down to 0.05. And I'm also going to change the grid spacing to about seven. And I'm going to bring the size down to 20. And so now if you've done that correctly, now you will see the stars moving ever so slightly. And that's looking pretty cool. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate that and we're just going to play around with some of the settings just to make it a little bit more unique. So we're going to drop down or bring up the scatter to let's say 100 and we're going to change the grid spacing to 2. So now you've got two of those things. So that's looking pretty good. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a flare. So I'm going to come in here and create a new solid. I'm going to call this solid flare and I'm just going to change the color back to black. I'm going to press OK. Now we need a few effects for this to work. The first effect is going to be the lens flare. The second effect is going to be tritone. And finally, the third effect is going to be turbulent displace. Cool. So now that we've got all of those things in there, the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that we change the midtones for the tritone color. So I'm just going to go back to color hunt and get my color from here. I'm going to go with the darker blue and then I'm going to paste it back into this effect over there. So cool. That looks pretty good. The next thing that we need to do is we need to come to turbulent displace. So I'm going to change the amount to let's say 550. I'm also going to change the size to let's say 30. I then am going to change the displacement to turbulent smoother. I then am going to increase the complexity all the way up to let's say 10. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to animate that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold option and I'm going to click on the little stopwatch here. And I'm going to bring up this panel over here and I'm going to write time times, let's say 100. And so now if you've done that correctly, you will see that the turbulent displace is now moving. So now once you've got that and it's animating slightly, the next thing that we need to do is we just need to change it to screen so that we can see our stars and everything in the background. And it's looking pretty good like that. It's like the earth is giving this extra kind of flare thing happening. But another thing is I'm just going to press T for the opacity and I'm just going to drop down the opacity, just bring it down to maybe like, you know, 50%, 40%, something like that. So the final thing that we can add here is we can just add another expression for the brightness. So if you have a look at these brightness settings, you can play around with some of these things. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold option. We're going to click on the stopwatch and we're going to write another expression wiggle. And this time we're going to put 0.2 comma 10. And now if you've done that correctly, it will kind of flash as well. So it's just another little detail that, you know, you can add to this. Another thing that you can do with the flare is you can duplicate it by pressing command D 
or control D and then you can you know put it on another part of your document so maybe something like that so I'm just gonna bump it up cool there we go so now that we have the earth spinning we have a bit of that flare happening in the background the final thing that we can do is we can add an adjustment layer and we can put the adjustment layer just underneath the flare so what we're going to do is we're going to look for an effect called curves and we're just going to add a slight little s curve here so you can play around with some of these settings so you can see the more you push it this way the kind of darker it gets and the other final adjustment layer that we can put over here but this time I want to put it on top of everything is just a little bit of noise so I'm just going to come over here and maybe add like 8% noise and that's pretty much it so now if I preview that you can see that the world is spinning and we have this flare thing going off in the background and it's looking pretty good anyways guys that's it for this short tutorial on how to create a realistic world I hope you learned something thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>